Hello my beautiful viewers on Facebook and YouTube. What I've got for you now uh, is the second uh, Chris review of these Great British Chris, uh, Great British Chris Company. The last one was an absolute disaster. It, I didn't even give it, it didn't even get a zero. So I'm hoping for better things with this particular flavour. The last one was chicken tikka masala, but this is traditional English breakfast. So that's it, that's the one there. So look at the back. There we go. Right. That's a, that's what you get in a pack of them. That none of, nothing been eaten out there yet. They don't look full, do they? Uh really. Do they? You know, but let's get to it. I just hope it's better than the last lot. Here we go. That's them. One second. Well, you can probably tell by my face, uh, it's another disaster, to be honest with you. Great British Chris Company, absolute disaster again. Traditional English breakfast, I don't know what sort of breakfast they're having, but come on. It doesn't taste anything like breakfast. Had a slight taste of something, to be honest with you, and that's about it. Uh, absolute disaster, you know. If any people from... Uh, Great British Chris Company are watching. Uh, you need to change uh, your Chris testers because that's two packets now, and the bullpen is disaster. I've got two more to go, two more to check, to review. It tastes absolutely nothing like an English breakfast whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. You can't taste beans. You can't taste bacon. You can't taste tomatoes, you can't taste, uh, you can't taste hardly anything. Really, to be perfectly honest with you. I'll give it another go, just to be fair. You know, there you see, give it another go. I'm not even going to eat the rest of them, to be honest with you. I'm just going to chuck them away, to be honest with you. I'm very disappointed. That's two packets now, and they're awful. Absolutely awful. You've got a slight taste of something, you know. And because of that slight taste, I'm going to give it uh, half, uh, not a one out of ten, a half out of ten. It's not even a one, it's a half out of ten, just for that little bit of taste, you know. Whoever's doing the flavours for you, uh, Great British Chris Company, you need to sack them, get rid of them, because there's no flavour, you know, no flavour, and there's hardly any crisps in it, look at that, you know, like filling the packet of crisps up would be a good idea as well, uh, very disappointing, it's a half, yes you heard me right, it's a half, it's a another disaster for this company. You know, and I do honest reviews, you know, 
The, it's the same thing again, but the, the packaging is great. The packaging is, is awesome. I mean, that is a great pack. It's got the red, which I, I would assume represents tomato sauce. It's got a lovely picture of a breakfast uh, without an head. Yes, you heard me right. There's not even an egg on there. Uh, but it's an absolute disaster. That is half, half. Those two packets of crisps you got with the two worst packets of crisps I've ever tasted. I'm not even, go I'm not even going to uh, eat them. I'm going to chuck them away. I, I, I'm, not even, I'm going to do the reviews of the other two. Just, uh, but if you don't buy these crisps, don't buy the chicken tikka masala, and don't buy the traditional English breakfast. They're, they're not worth the money. I think they're a 99p a packet. They're a disaster. And in fact, they're that bad. I would even say that these cheap crisps you get from the supermarket, super, supermarkets on brands, crisps, have more flavour than, than them. And you can get six packs for a quid from, say, Aldi or the supermarkets. Six packs of crisps with, with, some, with some sort of flavour in them. These have got none. It's a disaster. Absolute disaster. That. So anyway, don't buy them. They're a waste of money. Get yourself some, if you've only got a quid, buy yourself six, six packets of Aldi, Lidl, uh, Tesco, or some of the cheap ones. You can get them. Some of them are 80p for six packs. Don't waste your money on the Great British Chris Company. They're a waste of But I am going to review the other two. Just to get to be fair for them. And that'll be four packets that I tried then. First two, disaster. Two left. And we'll keep watching to see those other two. See if, see if by some miracle they have got in them two packets of some flavour. Anyway, thank you for watching uh, my review of the Great British Chris Company traditional English breakfast. And anyway, please subscribe to my channel. The book's down there. I've got 112 subscribers now. So thank you all. Uh, here on my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.